they're coming there. The two that I've seen have both come up. One of them was right here on this little point and he came up out of deep water and ran up on the bank and then turned around and went right back down. So, oh, I don't know, I don't know. You would think that the, the two that I've seen, neither one of them were giants, but both of them ran right up on the bank right here. I would have said they were running up on the bank to grab something, but. Right. So guys, you look right there, that is a leech and those things are swimming. If you look in the river, those things are swimming all up and down the bank right here, right below us. And when we put him back in where he got him, if you watch him, he'll string out in the water column and then he'll just swim around right there. And that's what we're figuring out that these trout are eating by the ton. So we're not catching them very good just yet, but I think uh, we get those guys mimicked decent and I think we'll be okay. That's a very high protein food source for a trout. And uh, yeah, I think if we get those matched pretty good, we'll do all right. A swing right in there. If you don't reel it. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, here he comes, here he comes. You can see him coming across there. Oh! He's gonna get it. He didn't eat it? No. Holy cow! Did he swam right over to it. Yeah, he swam right over to it. And guys, that jig's like 30 yards out there too. And, and you can see the fish dart across the current, but he didn't get it. So maybe uh, I need to make a color change. Yep. Uh, Cause he for sure came over and looked at it. Oh, but he's looking right at it. He's got him. Oh, he got it. He got it. And I'm not even sure that was the same fish. Oh no. Swing and a miss. Oh, I get paid to connect on those, not miss them. No, that's ugly. Oh no. Oh man. All right, you try. We'll try. We'll we'll keep that. There's at least. Oh, oh man, did oh, you yeah. see his whole head just came out of the water? <laughs> that's a big fish. All right, you try. Hey Troy, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Now you got a ways to go before we land them. Now I want to point out real quick, guys, and I'm going to talk about this while Troy's fighting on this fish because this is probably going to take a few minutes. And I have my net right here. Uh, this is a custom built rod that he had that's actually a four weight fly rod blank that he had built into a spinning rod. And then, uh, and he got how what, four pound nanofill on this? Four pound nanofill and a four pound leader and a four pound leader. Four pound so we're leader. not gonna get in a hurry on this fish at all. And you're fishing a leech pattern and we just showed the guys right. that these leeches are in here. So you're fishing a fly on a spinning rod. Yep. No doubt about it. it. And I'm just gonna tell you right now that it's working. And if anyone wants to know why we have Troy on the show, this is a fly that you tie. Yep. And look at that right in the top of the snout. Show them that fly, I'll hold him in the water. All right, I call that the one inch death punch. It's a sculpin slash leech imitator. slash minnow imitator. Right. It's got a long uh, piece of uh, squirrel hide on it. And uh, uh, the, the ones I tie that I can cast on the spinning rod have a five millimeter tungsten bead, which is heavy, but still not typically something you can cast on a spinning rod, except for right. I had this one specifically made. All right, I'm gonna uh, let this guy out of here real quick right. and then we'll talk about that rod some more. Look at that thing, guys. That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful Mr. Fish. Coburn, that is well done right yeah. there. We're gonna put her back in the water right here. Look at that. See ya. And it won't hold on to her. Nice. So, you know, in showcasing the, the, the possibilities of spinning rods and little jig-like deals, this technically would be a, you could throw it easy on a six weight. Absolutely. Easy yeah. on a six weight. And this being a four weight fly rod that is custom built by a mutual friend of ours named Ray Frazier, custom built this into a spinning rod for him so that you could throw these on spinning tackle, right. which gives you the range and the control right. that you don't have with spaghetti string. Right, exactly. exactly. So yeah. very yeah, slick, guys, and we've run into a tough bite today. They've been hard to catch and the bigger jigs have been harder and harder to catch. He literally walked a half mile back to the truck just to get this rod and you've been fishing that for three, four minutes right. and already got one. It's because all those leeches we showed you, there's leeches all along the bank right here. So he wanted to downsize, make something a little bit higher in the water column, it's a little bit more free moving. And that got her done right That's off it. the bat. Yeah. And just for the record, we saw that fish rise. He turned around, threw to it, and Boom. there you go. <laughs>